Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a truck dispatcher? I imagine it must be a lot like being a gardener, you know, having to make things take roots and watching them leave all the time. In today's humble opinion, things are getting kinfucky in Kentucky Route Zero. Kentucky Route Zero is a highly artistic point-and-click adventure game developed and published by Cardboard Computer, and if this is the kind of game we can expect from a cardboard computer, I can't see what happens when they upgrade to Driftwood. Now, when I say that the game is highly artistic, I'm not saying that it is that way because of how it looks. Not that it doesn't look artistic, I mean, it's really got a minimalistic and hilariously somewhat of an art deco look going for it. Rather, what I mean is that if you can think of an artistic medium, then it's probably using its principles to create something truly impressive. The two most obvious are the bare-bones visual and auditory cues. Like I said, it visually seems to take inspiration from minimalism, and more specifically Art Deco, which is an interesting choice considering that I often associate that form of art with big cities in progress rather than a lonesome road blues type of feel. It suits it pretty well and allows the player to project whatever ideas they might have about the characters onto them as opposed to giving them definitive traits. Not only that, but the high contrast style does an excellent job of setting the mood, lending its dark shadows and bright patches of light to create an ambiguous sense of vague fear with bits of lightheartedness and interest that makes it feel strange at all times. The sounds in the game are equally as impressive. At times it seems like there are almost none, the silence deafening as you focus in on the dialogue or hear something particularly important like a well-timed musical interlude that infuses the game with an authentic country road feel. They even have a character that seems to be dedicated explicitly to pretentiously telling you how important sound is to molding an audience's emotional state. One song in particular seemed to resonate directly with my soul, but that's really big in the story and I don't want to say too much about that lest I give something away. So we're gonna keep it vague. The narrative has so many layers that DreamWorks needs to rewrite Shrek so that he compares ogres to it rather than an onion, because onions don't have shit on this. From a critical standpoint, you could analyze it in numerous ways. It carries with it a considerable number of themes, ranging from alcoholism, nostalgia, journey home, self-discovery, doubts, mortality, and life in general. It reminds me of some of the pieces that I read in literary analysis class. One particular form of analysis that I think would be interesting to unravel the game with would be psychological, since the game seems to be less about actually playing it and more about you as a player. The only real control you have over it is the information that you get through exploration and dialogue choices. Everything else comes from the story itself. And dialogue doesn't really hold any influence over the sequence of actions, so it's more like you're exploring your own curiosities and putting your own psyche onto the characters. In other ways, it's also reminiscent of a classical epic with a long journey of trials and complete with a descent into the underworld. Perhaps the most interesting influence over the game's direction is that of the theater. Not only is the action divided among several acts and parts, but it also seems like the lighting, the pacing, the presentation of characters, and the environments themselves are set up to mimic that of a performance. Walls fade away, the sounds and dialogues are cues, the camera, rather than following the characters themselves, alters to show the setting that the characters are in. It gives the game a feeling that you don't experience too terribly often. Normally you can find Kentucky Route Zero on the Steam store for the price of $24.99, which sounds a little steep for the style of game, but given the amount of context that there actually is to play and replay through, it doesn't seem that far off. After all, they've spent years on this game and it's come out sequentially with different parts at different times, so there's been a lot of love put into it and a lot of work. Personally, I'd feel more comfortable paying around $15 for it, but if that's still too much for you, it has been on sale for as low as $10.04, so be sure to keep your eye out. Gameplay for Kentucky Route Zero earns a 7 out of 10 because while I can sing its praises for how artful it is, the fact of the matter is that it comes off as more of an art installation than it does an actual game. The controls when you're actually using them are clunky and sluggish, and at one point one of the characters becomes injured and hobbles around, making it all the worse. While that may be great for storytelling, it makes the game seem like it trickles on for longer than I'd like, kinda like when Grandpa's telling a story and then goes off on a tangent instead of getting to the good stuff and wrapping things up. And again, like I said, there isn't much gameplay to be had. There aren't any puzzles, you're just kind of controlling the actors through their story arcs and discovering more about yourself. Still, I don't want to give it a lower score because the premise itself is interesting and if you're alright with something that feels a little pretentious at times, surreal, or avant-garde for the sake of having something to dissect and think about, then it's definitely worth looking into. Value, on the other hand, earns a perfect 10 out of 10 for offering a truly phenomenal experience that cannot be had anywhere else. Kentucky Route Zero, while I have some reservations about it, is something that I've not seen before. It's thoughtful, it's interesting, and it manages to nearly perfectly capture the mood that it seems to be trying to go for. It's something that tugs at the heartstrings by creating a very familiar and specific emotion, but in an incredibly vague way that you can't quite put your finger on. Kind of like the ache of nostalgia when you think about it. Literally every element of the game is masterfully crafted to create the feeling, but doesn't directly point at it, and it's absolutely genius. With a composite score of 8.5, Kentucky Route Zero earns an A-. It's one of those things that even when you don't like it, you have to marvel at what it manages to accomplish and acknowledge that while it's not your cup of tea, it's objectively a powerful experience.